Hi, Lou Manfredini, ACES Home Expert. And in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about the differences between a circular saw, like I'm holding in my hand here, and a reciprocating saw that I'm holding in my hand right here. Both of these tools are battery operated tools. Now, therein lies one of the big differences when you're buying power tools. You can either buy corded power tools that are more traditional or the cordless models like the two in front of me are very strong, they do a really nice job, but you have to keep those batteries charged. So keep that in mind depending on the project you're gonna be working on. If it's something that's gonna be for days and days and days, then a corded tool may make more sense. But let's get into the differences between the two tools. Now, a circular saw like this is a substantial tool. This is a perfect tool for cross-cutting, meaning if you're gonna be cutting two by fours or stair treads or something like that, a circular saw would be appropriate. If you're gonna be cutting plywood, long lengths of it where you have to trim it down the whole length of a piece of plywood, a circular saw is a very useful tool. So it's very versatile, very powerful. You have to read all the instructions on how to use it. With any of these tools, it's always important to wear safety glasses because a lot of chunks of wood and dust and things can fly up in the air and you definitely wanna protect your eyes. And so depending on the blade that you put on a circular saw, that will also ensure the quality of the cut. On this particular one right now, it's a carbide tip blade that is uh, very versatile, can cut through a lot of different materials and will give you a very smooth cut. Now, a reciprocating saw is traditionally used as a demo saw. If you were gonna be doing some remodeling where you needed to cut out some uh, wood inside the walls and whatnot, a reciprocating saw with the proper blade on the end of it could do the trick. But it can also be a tool that you would use, say, if you were building a fence. You would actually need a combination of both of these tools to be able to do that for the certain kind of trimming that you would need to do around building a fence or any kind of outdoor work. If you're gonna build a deck, you definitely want both a circular saw and a reciprocating saw to get that work done. They're two very different tools. If you gotta to cut a bunch of two by fours, then a circular saw is the way to go. If you're remodeling your bathroom and you need to cut out some walls to reshape it in the uh, vision that you want, then you're going to need a reciprocating saw. One thing I know for sure, that when you go to your local Ace Hardware store, the associates in the store can help you choose the right tool for your needs. If you need more information, you can always go to our website, acehardware.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And of course, the best bet is to visit one of your local Ace Hardware stores. Remember, Ace is the helpful place.